Hi everyone, welcome to Kipo's Creative Flow. We are taking part in the Defember Remember Challenge. Um, it's your Ephemera Inspiration in December. It is hosted by Barbara from 49 Dragonflies and Louisa Heinzel from Jong Journal Art. My scraps partner is the amazing Susie Q Makes. So a lot of the things that are in this, pro well, throughout this whole um, month of December are mostly items from what she sent me through the scraps. So I'm trying to use them as frugally as possible. I think she was saying in her video today that she's almost run out and I'm like, ooh. <laughs> so yeah, I'm hoping you'll be able to stretch it out all the way, Susie. You can do it. Um, so today is a tricky one. It's called Magical Creature. And yeah, number 13. So I'm just like, what? What shall I do? So let's have a quick look. Um, so what I've done is so i've already had this postcard so i've already put it on here um i've created like a pocket um and then i was thinking of adding like so i've grabbed some stars which i'll try and add just to ex accentuate accentuate say the word correctly just the stars in the sky then i've also got this packaging so i was thinking <sighs> a crazy idea is using this lady from a magazine and then folding her head the, well cutting off this bit and then she is going to be she's going to have a head of a bonsai tree stay with me stay with me i'm not gone mad so it's all about connecting back to earth and i'm mad about plants some of you may know there's a whole thing called plant life on my or nature as well and it says inhale confidence and exhale doubt and I was thinking how cute is that it's like it's different and yeah <laughs> I'm gonna go with it so I was thinking maybe the page can be because I know I've got one small page which it could just fit on here so before we do that what I might do is quickly distress the edges with some vintage photo which is probably 10 years old most likely definitely 10 years old or something whenever they first came out that's since i've had this same pad and all i've done is spritz some water on it and it's still going these daubers i probably need to reinvest because uh yeah they've probably seen better days um but you know when you're used to something and you're just like so yeah on occasion you'll just see some foam flopping off all in around <laughs> it's from this um but it's doing the job so until it's completely knackered it's staying with me i hope you guys are doing all right and enjoying this whole month i think the creators are definitely getting in their vibe now the first prompts are always hard like it's hard to get into the routine of it but now that we all are hopefully we'll carry on through into next year as well doing things and keeping strong projects alive as well i'm hoping i'm sure the other creators are also hoping they can do that it's just discipline i suppose isn't it it's misfitting it into life oh don't you fall over here so let's just quickly go into the um journal so this is so this was the page i was thinking this top one um so i think let's pop it Pop it. Let's pop it. Oh, you don't fit. Okay, we're just going to grab the scissors. Oh, I did have the scissors in there. Of course you did. Now you haven't got them somewhere. Oh, you put them in here. Oh, yeah, I did. They're in here. It's okay. Panic over. So it doesn't quite fit into here, so I just need to trim... Trim it down a tiny bit. Might do both ends and then just give it a good, just give it a little scooch with this because it's slightly, it has some dyeing on the stain, so to speak. Might go over the holes as well. While we've got, while we've got it out, go over the holes, darling. Yeah, right. 
Let's just try it now. Oh. Yeah, that's it. So I might re I will probably reinforce it as well. But it does fit like this. And then we can still add. Yeah, I might make it a bit thicker so it just stays in there. So for now, yeah, so that's where it will live once we've uh, finished the prompt. Mm, yeah, let's go. Okay, I'm just going to pop this to the side. And I'm going to do this side now. Clear up as you go. Don't make a mess on the table. <laughs> I'm using that Barely Art Precision glue, craft glue. Awesome, awesome, awesome grab straight away and first of all shall we decapitate this lady yeah might leave her arm in there though try and do an angle let's let's cut this bit off first so I just, just want to have a little play around uh, so that's a neck that's mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe uh, the arm bit can just come off. You know what? Let's just round this off so it doesn't look so out of place. Oh, don't chop a finger off. Yeah, magical creature. I don't know. I'm going to do a tree lady. A lady who is grounded. She gets all the energy from her trees. From the trees. And that's what gives her the confidence. Yeah. So maybe we can do a bit of that. It's just there. And then these, what Susie has kindly put in the 50 scraps. What I was going to do quickly, I'm just going to grab the Sharpie. Okay, let me go in a bit. You can see what's going on. Sorry guys, I'm just going to grab the Sharpie pen and then just go in Susie, you'll have to tell me if this was your granddaughter's work or your work Were you having a play with this artwork? Very cute, nevertheless. Whichever way it is. <laughs> it looks like you've used mica powders, I'm guessing. That's a guess. And then these cute ones here. Do them a bit darker, because they're near the top. That's it, and then... This what I was thinking of just doing the lines only because this is a bit thinner. And I'll just go around the outline. Yep. Cool. Just gonna put the glue. Which we have it like this. Do -do -do. You could have the blue there because it's kind of matching that. Kind of. Kind of, kind of. Lovely thick card this is. Thank you. This is, these are the types of flowers this myst mystical creature creates. Mica powder ones. Magic. And then with her confidence she can change the world to a better place. How to do this? Might just do it straight actually. 
Yeah. We're going for it. Let's do it. Add an extra glue here. It is quite thick, this card. And then you can go on the page, I suppose. Oh yeah, the stars. That's what I knew. We had to do some voice. <laughs> That's why I'm lost, you know. Just gonna put little dabs on there. Put this lid back on. Just pin, sorry. Pin back on. And then let's get the pro. Got the pokey tool. Actually, let's poke it in the glue first and then rub on. Just a nice quick prompt to be. I'll be able to save some for the next <laughs> make some from there for the next one and this should help your dry clear as well which is good and I love it that this lady is using a harp because apparently that is a dying trade like people harp makers because we went to this national trust property myself and a friend and harps and globes and a few other things as well um, were part of the dying trade which not many people are doing anymore so yeah I love the fact that she's actually got a harp and it's relevant to what I've been up to recently Sorry, I'm just flattening that out a bit so. Yeah, so that's a prompt. Oh, I've got um, the word star as well. I should see if I can fit it on. <laughs> yeah, let's put it on this side. That's a little bumpy. Sticking to me. I'm just going to cut it down. Cut it down again. Let's see how this goes. Oh, let's make it a bit different, shall we? And let's go. Oh, shall I put? No, we'll glue it. I was, gonna think, I was thinking of um, stapling it, but it's okay, we'll glue it. Mm. It's shiny, this. Hopefully, it will stick.
This is uh, my mystical creature. I was thinking, shall we put this here on her dress, the head, which goes to the other side? Mm. Just to link, maybe not. I'm thinking maybe to link them. And that works if we put it above maybe in the tree. Let's see. gonna look too weird <laughs> i think we're gonna stop there so i hope you enjoyed that um the bonsai tree energy let's call it that and then we've got this lady playing the harp so here nice and simple and hopefully see you again soon take care for now bye